people still feel comfortable enough to send me death threats. It's wild. Zoe says, God, I wish I could peel your skin from your muscles slowly by slowly. Wow. Zoe sounds healthy. Being a self-hating trans woman is the most humiliating thing I've ever seen. You think you have the upper hand, but only one of us knows where the other lives. You will submit one day. I will protect you forever. I love you, princess. I really do. Hey guys, it's Blair White. And as you know, I'm packing. But for whatever reason, people still feel comfortable enough to send me death threats. It's wild. And listen, I know not everyone likes me. I am not for everyone. I mean, half of y'all don't even like yourselves, so I'm not tripping. But it's more so when one of the Blair White haters pops one too many pills and the messages they send end up being death threats. That's a bit different. You know, sometimes the FBI has to be on deck. And when that happens, girl. It's a lot, it's a lot. And honestly, I've been doing this so long that it's just funny to me now. So I figured, why not share the hilarity with y'all? So let's read them together. It's been a while since I've given you guys an updated gun collection video. I think it's been over a year, right? This is my pink AR-15 and her name is Regina. I have named her. So next we have Miss Katrina. This is my custom Barbie pink flamethrower. I have it named her. I've gotten a lot of new guns since then. This is my 45 Colt Mare's Leg Henry Rifle customized gold. I just think it's so so first up, we have Zoe. It's Zimzer's first time accessing Wi-Fi since escaping the mental institution. Zimzer's first priority was to have a psychotic break in Blair White's DMs. I mean, I am a pick-me Nazi bootlicker after all, so it's okay. I don't know what required the most audacity here. Showing your face, wearing that treacherous side pony, or spelling Zoe with an X. Ew. Zoe says, God, I wish I could peel your skin from your muscles slowly by slowly. Wow. Zoe sounds healthy. I would suggest, however, that they then proofreads their next death threat because it's one thing to sound psychotic, but retarded too. Tisk tisk, Zoe. Zoe continues. F you. Ouch. Just wanted to let you know there is a Canadian trans woman out there gunning for you. Interesting use of the word gunning, Zoe. I guess I would be shook if you were sending this from a country where you could actually have a gun to do so, but you know, you are from Canada and this particular statement just falls a bit flat because a commie without a gun is kind of like a man without balls. Ironically, you are both of those things. So you guys know I've had this Glock 17 for a minute. I have the BW insignia, hi. But you know, just like her mommy, she did get a facelift recently. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I got this micro conversion kit, of course, also a customized BW, duh. And when you put her in here, because you know, I am a Power Ranger, she does. Then you have your Power Ranger weapon. Hi Megazord, hi Tranazord. We are now going to shoot her. Our next opponent says, are you going to stop playing hard to get? I wanna take care of you. Wow, Steve. Am I playing hard to get or are you just hard? I have asked you to be my friend for some time now. You need to be exposed. I'm tired of your attitude. That took a left. He continues, I know you have seen my olive branches because you would have blocked me like you do others. You think you have the upper hand, but only one of us knows where the other lives. Well, Steve, if this is what taking care of me looks like, I'd hate to see what trying to kill me looks like, but something tells me I'll be just fine. So this one is definitely my favorite. It is my P90. I wanted one for so long, finally got my hands on one, and I feel like it's just giving James Bond. And it's also giving, when she goes left, I'm going right to my P90. Like when that EMP bomb hits, is it EMP or what is it? Yeah. Hi. Hey. Hi. How's it going, brother? Hi. Sorry, right, daddy's ruining your shot there. No, you're okay. <laughs> no, it's all you're good. Okay. That was rude. Um, so when the grid goes down like syndrome, I'm choosing my P90, so let's shoot her. This one's literally so fun to shoot, watch. Our next crackhead says, hello Blaine. Here is your daily reminder that you are not a woman. You will never be more than a bimbo. I can't wait for you to be a statistic. I mean, this message is just 10 out of 10. The cognitive dissonance occurring within this crackhead's mind, probably due to the crack, to use a female insult while also saying that I am not a woman, I mean, that's just fascinating within itself. 
And sir, I do agree, and you would know from watching my content if you ever did, that I don't believe that I'm a woman. However, it's interesting how I am male, but somehow a bimbo, and you are male, but somehow a bitch. I mean, we are making history here together. Love you. So this is my Chris Vector, which I also really love. I haven't shot her a lot. As you can see, she's pretty clean, but I mean, I really love how it shoots. I feel like it stabilizes itself. And again, this is another like, you know, end of the world type shit, you know? She's giving Stormtrooper, she's giving Blair white. So let's fucking shoot her. Let's continue reading my messages from my secret admirers. Hey girl, you have some any in-person events for a couple years. So similar to our previous contenders here, this one also appears to be retarded. The ability to form coherent sentences doesn't seem to come easy to them, but I'm going to assume they're inquiring why I have not done any in-person events. Hint, probably because of freaks like you. Please do one soon so I can come f*** you up on site. Well, you know what, sis? Maybe I should start doing in-person events, specifically boxing events. If y'all want to square up so bad, let's do it. So this one is very exciting. This is my Ruger 22 hunting rifle. And it has a, I believe it's called a backpack kit. Because this actually detaches and just stick it in twist, you know? And then boom, boom, boom. Being a self-hating trans woman is the most humiliating thing I've ever seen. Not one person respects you, nor your friends even. Joe Rogan has said many times on his show he regrets his episode with you. Hang it up. Or better yet, yourself. Wow, Alexandra. In an attempt to prove you wrong here, I did try to FaceTime Rogan. And unfortunately, he did not pick up. So you may be correct about that. However, I think you'd have an interesting conversation with my therapist who tells me I have the opposite problem, which is that I love myself too much. So nice try, but goodbye. So this little baby is my Ruger Mark IV Silencer Shop Edition. And uh, she's just giving undercover bitch you know she's giving i could just whip this out undercover she's tiny she's compact you know like the dicks of the people that are sending me death threats i just love her look i'm trying to do a little bit classier of you know customization since y'all are fucking haters and you hate when they're pink let's shoot her and she does have a shake awake red dot our next fan mail is titled Trans Hitler. Now, it's uncertain whether or not this individual is claiming that they are Trans Hitler or that I am Trans Hitler. However, it reads, Time to die, 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 die. So here is my Caltech P50. She's just adorable. I mean, she's giving dainty, she's giving I don't even know it's a fucking gun, but she's, you know, she's, she's everything. She's giving alien invasion, time to strap up type shit. And y'all know the government did disclose aliens are real. No one really cared. But you know, I'm ready. So E.T. better phone home, bitch. Our next demon slash diddler says, Why did you leave the Ardmore? Do you think moving would stop me from being with you? Or did you forget women like you are the reason men turn away? Question mark. So within this incoherent babble, not really understanding what they're asking or what he means by men turning away. However, the Ardmore is the building I used to live in, in Hollywood. A bit frightening. Moving doesn't matter. Still thinking of you every day. You are in my dreams floating through my mind. I can try to contain who I really am for only so long long you will submit one day i will protect you forever i love you princess i really do wow well you know diddler i did move from hollywood for many reasons the first of which is that i can own all these lovely firearms at my new place of residence and i encourage you to take a long hard just like you good look at them and pray that you never see them in person love you so that concludes today's episode of Reading Rainbow Death Edition. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel as well as my podcast channel. Follow me on X and Instagram and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, it's Blair White. And as you know, I'm packing. Ooh, it went down my boot. Ready? Yeah, rolling. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>